Hello guys, Crisp here and today I'm going to be unboxing this Chewy tablet PC with Windows 11. It's a two-in-one as you can see, kind of like a Surface device. It's the Hi10 Max. This right here is just a keyboard, so let's start with that. And here we go, very simple box as you can see. Nothing fancy here, let's open this up like so. And I think this is the keyboard, it doesn't really say that it is, but yes, it seems like indeed it is the keyboard. Alright, here we have it, no instructions in this box, look at that shiny, it's beautiful actually, I really like this black color, although it might be a little bit fingerprinty, or not really fingerprinty, it's like a leather type of, yeah, look at that. Yeah, you can really see it right there. And over here, it's like velvet or something. Okay, so that's the keyboard unboxed. Let's go to the actual tablet slash PC, Hi10 Max. This is the 12 gigabyte DDR5 version with 512 gigabytes of storage. It has Intel N100 chip inside, 13 inch touch screen. That should be looking pretty good with high resolution as well. Nice for the price actually. And over here it's just some information, manufacturer information, so on. I guess now is the time we unbox the star of the video. Here we go. Am I doing it correctly? I don't even know. There's a little hole right here, but uh, wait, wait, wait. How, how can I? Okay, okay, this gets out like so. I guess this is just a charger probably. Yes. There we go, nothing else inside of here. And there are the specifications, 36 watt charger. This doesn't consume a lot of power, of course, it's just Intel N100 chip. Very, very low power stuff. Now, back to the tablet itself. Let's see if I can grab this. Oh boy. Okay, so there's something here. This is a really weird unboxing, I'm sorry, but I'm not very good at unboxing boxes yet, okay? Very new to this stuff here on YouTube. <laughs> All right, so we got what seems like some information, maybe some warranty papers and so on. Let's check it out. Height and max, user manual, that's exactly it. So if you want to take a look, that's it. Product inspection report, interesting. Okay, high temperature test. That's something that's very interesting that we will take a look at in another video in the main channel. I will be testing this out in GTA 5 this week, so stay tuned in for that. I got this little paper right here that you can read by pausing the video, and I'm not going to read that. This might be a little sticker, I don't know. No, actually, no, it's quality control passed or quality assurance. Interesting. And lastly, we have tablet pad. This is probably for warranty purposes. Yes, warranty. There we go. Okay, so let's move on to the start of the show, finally. Very well packaged and protected, though, inside of this foam thing. Nice. And there we have it, Chewy. Let's remove... Oh, hello there! <laughs> so there we go. Now we have the screen. Once again, the specifications that we saw. Intel UHD graphics. I also took a look at the Chewy Freebook in the main channel with the same specs as this one. N100, 12 gigabytes of DDR5. That's always beautiful. Also, I think the screen protector left something... Oh! Oh, wait! No, there is another screen protector reinstalled not perfect because it has that little thing and it actually looks a little bit weird with these uh, purplish and greenish hues but okay it's nice that they include the little screen protector um anyway right here we got the headphone jack usb a that's interesting on a device this thin i mean this is as thin as my phone actually over here wow two USB-C's, one of them will be for charging, of course. I'm not sure if it will only charge the device. I'll talk about that stuff in my GTA 5 gameplay video with it later. And this seems to be mini display port or mini HDMI, something like that. And now this is that leatherish feel once again in this back case. Look at that installed i think we can remove it so the magnets are in the bottom part of it and they are very strong look at that damn okay there we go here we have the back of the device high 10 max over there intel inside 
and it's even thinner now because we remo removed the back cover. But yeah, and on the top we have the power button, volume rocker right here. This is just exhaust vents, I think. Yeah, on the bottom we got that connection to the keyboard over here. This feels pretty sturdy, actually. Bend test. Oh boy. I'm not gonna do it like jerry-rig everything, obviously. Okay, so it doesn't turn on. I think we, we need to charge it, guys. Wait a second. And uh, these fingerprints are super hard to wipe off, by the way, out of the screen protector. So I'm probably going to remove it at some point. Okay. Gonna put it like that so you guys... Oh, it doesn't hold it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit of a bummer. All right. Well, I'm gonna use the... Okay, okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. Shh, shh, shh. Thank you. Now I'm gonna connect the keyboard here. The screen is very bright, by the way, out of the box. And uh, it's backlit as well. You can barely see it because the screen is so bright. Wait a second. If I adjust it here, there we go. Now we're back to normal brightness levels on the, the old setup here on the camera, I guess. Yeah, but it is backlit. Not very bright, the backlight there, but I guess that's enough. It has three levels. Yep. And now I'm just going to install Windows. Look at that touch screen working. I think it's 60 hertz. Pretty sure it is 60 hertz. But it feels nice and responsive. And by the way, they also sent me these over here. If you want to change your keyboard, you know, add some stickers to it. There you go. Nice little inclusion there. Oh, interesting. There's a light down here. When you press the caps lock key, it lightens up. I'm not sure what that one is. Even if I disable the backlight, it stays on. I'm not sure what that is. You know what? I'm not liking this screen protector, so I'm just going to peel it off. Okay. It just looks weird with that green tint as well as purple tint, right? Should be easier to wipe off fingerprints off of the actual screen as well. It's uh, but yeah, there we go. We are in Windows 11 at the moment. Ready to go, I think. Just need to connect to the internet and stuff. It's nice that they didn't ask me for an online account. So they already bypassed that and they added some things as well to the desktop here. Everything feels snappy here within Windows. Just as it should from an N100 chip. I mean, it's a very low-end chip, but... I have tested it extensively in Windows and stuff like that, and even in gaming, mostly in gaming, and it works just fine, so that's nice. And yeah, that's about it. We got our N100 right there. We got the 12 gigabytes of DDR5. It's 4000 megahertz. I wish it was at least like 5600 megahertz or something like that for it to be a little bit faster, but it doesn't really matter in the day-to-day. -day. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. And then we got our SSD. 512 gigabytes, air disk, and our UHD graphics. There we go. So now I'm going to install Steam on it, GTA 5, and I'm going to have a GTA 5 video for you guys on the main channel very, very soon. And also, I wish this uh, hinge mechanism worked a little bit better because I wanted to use it like that for the video. You know, I'm sorry. But it just slides, so it reveals the spotlight over there. It looks bad, I know, I'm sorry, but it is what it is, my friends. Thanks very much for watching this video of the unboxing of this tablet. Now you know what comes inside of the box. This feels pretty strong. I like that. Screen is very high resolution, once again, 2880 by 1920. That's a big res right there, guys. Very nice indeed. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.